As all designers know, color can make or break an event page. As a general rule before we dive in, remember that it's always best to keep things simple, especially when it comes to color. To customize our color palette, let's click into the Theme tab. All public themes in Splash's library will have one to three different color sets available for the designer to cycle through to quickly change the look and feel of their event page. They can also add as many sets as they'd like. Generally speaking, however, a good designer will be able to create a brilliant color palette using just one set. There is some rhyme and reason to how Splash's internal creative team has set up the structure of the palette. The first swatch is usually the darkest swatch to be used for dark text on lighter backgrounds and for darker color masks to tone down background imagery. The next two to three swatches are used as supporting or impact colors. It is a good practice to end with a swatch that is opposite or complementary to the first swatch. For this example, we will use white to complement black. The last swatch included in the palette is a completely transparent swatch, which usually is used to create transparent backgrounds for elements and blocks. The designer has the ability to rethink this strategy as much as they want. We're just here to give you a head start. To adjust or change an individual swatch, click directly into the Edit Cogwheel in the Color Palette tab. Once inside the Color Palette tab, you can elect to add as many swatches to your palette as you want, or you can choose to edit any of the swatches that are already included. After clicking into a swatch, you are able to quickly select a new color using the color gradient pickers or enter the exact RGB or hex value of your new color by copying and pasting it into the input field. If you'd like to lower the opacity of a color, thus creating an alpha channel, click and drag the opacity slider up or down. A common question that designers ask after adjusting the colors in their palette is this. Does my headline element have to be the same color as my call to action button? The answer is of course not. The designer has complete creative freedom to change any element or block to any color from their palette at any time. And remember, after your color palette has been customized the way you'd like, the event page can be saved out as a custom theme, which will keep the color palette baked in. So hopefully you'll only have to update your palette once and you'll be set moving forward.